I woke up this morning with a lot of energy. Okay, whatever. And I decided I am going to deep clean this apartment. You know why? Because this apartment is way messier than my life right now. And it is killing me inside when I wake up to this apartment. So I wanna clean, I wanna deep clean. This is not like a usual cleaning video. I am going to deep clean this apartment. I just hope I will be able to finish deep cleaning this apartment before the end of the night because today, I know I'm gonna be able to do it because I woke up with this motivation, with this energy. I woke up in the mood to clean. So I'm gonna clean this apartment. I have had a messy apartment for a while now. I do clean, don't get me wrong, I do clean. I just didn't deep clean in a very long time. Now when I say deep clean, I mean things like organizing the cabinet, getting rid of old clothes, cleaning every corner of this apartment, yeah. I do not do that. Deep cleaning is way different from usual cleaning. Now, the only reason I haven't deep cleaned is because I've been busy, I was burnt out, I did not have the energy, the motivation to do anything. I would keep my space clean, but the rest of the apartment, yeah, not very well. So I really, really, really want to deep clean the apartment today. By the way, it is okay to have a messy environment time to time now i'm not saying make it a habit but shit happens in life sometimes and you just have no other choice or you may just not have the energy or the motivation or just the mood to do it and that's okay because shit happens shit like that happens you cannot always be in a healthy mindset you can always be like you know i, I need to wake up at six o'clock in the morning i need to work out today i need to read a book i need to eat healthy you can't continue doing that for the rest of your life every single day no one does that shit. if anyone tells you that they're like that 365 days a year they're freaking lying let me tell you that no one has their life or their shit together 365 days a year and that is why it is okay to go through a phase it is okay to feel bad it's okay to eat junk food it's okay to do or eat or just live the way you want to live for a while as long as you don't make it into a habit as long as you do something about it because everyone goes through a burnout everyone goes through a phase everyone has their own shit because no one's life is perfect and also it is December, so the year is almost about to end. So you know what that means, getting your shit together before the new year. You already know if you have been watching my videos since I don't know when, you know that I always deep clean, like really, really get into it and clean my space before the year ends so that I can start the year fresh, clean and happy. And I also deep clean my apartment every three months, but it has been like six months already and I have not deep cleaned the apartment. So I'm gonna do it. And I really, really, really hope I will not lose this motivation in between cleaning, while I'm cleaning. Because that kind of stuff happens. You could be so motivated to study and then all of a sudden you lose that motivation and then you're just done. So I really hope that I will not lose the motivation today to clean the entire apartment from left to right, bottom to top, every single corner of this apartment and get rid of anything that I don't need, anything that I'm not taking with me to 2023. So you know what? Let's go. By the way, I live in a three bedroom apartment, so I am gonna go to each room and clean every single room. So the first room I'm gonna go to is my living room. So I'm in the living room right now and as you can see there are a lot of clothes there's a lot of stuff that I need to fix I need to organize I need to clean I need to do all of that stuff so let me tell you how this room got messy in the first place so usually when I wash my clothes I have no place to dry my clothes so I would usually keep all of my clothes in this room on the rack and then I would put my next pile of laundry and I completely forget about this pile which is drying up and then I just remove the clothes from this rack and then put it on my couch and I think to myself you know what I'm gonna do it later but then I forget to do it and then it went on and on and on and I just just never folded my clothes so my friend came over the other day and she folded the clothes for me because I hate folding clothes and she folded the clothes for me so thank you Selby if you're watching this thank you and all I have to do is put them back but I still have a few clothes left here and there 
which I have to clean and like over there and stuff. And there are a lot of stuff in this room that I don't really need that I need to throw away or just put it in a place where it belongs. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start putting all of these clothes back into my closet and take anything that I don't need and just organize everything in this room. I just realized I have way too many clothes that I don't even wear. I have no idea when I even got these clothes. I don't even remember when I bought these clothes. I have way too many clothes and I really need to give away some of the clothes that I have because it's just way too much. I cannot be folding this many clothes. I'm tired of it. Oh my god, you guys. I've been cleaning for almost two hours now. I'm not even done with the first room. I thought it would be easy. Since I haven't cleaned in so long, I completely forgot how long it takes to clean. So I'm gonna make it into days because I'm not gonna be able to clean every single thing in this house by tonight. I'm already exhausted and I'm not even halfway done with this room. So I don't really know how I'm gonna keep doing this, but let's go. Okay, so it is day two. I couldn't finish everything last night because there was just too much to clean. I ended up being really tired. So as you can see, the first room is done. We've cleaned every single thing. Honestly, I feel like this room was the worst, not the easiest because there were so many things over here. This was like a mini storeroom. There was just way too many things. Anyways, now that we're done with this room, Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we're in the bedroom right now and I have to clean up the space because it's my space. But this room is actually cleaner than the other rooms because this is my space. I stay here most of the time. I spend most of my time here. So it's already kind of clean, but I still need to clean. Like I need to deep clean. So let's get into it. Okay, so I am done with cleaning this room with the toilet and the bathroom and the living room. The only thing that's left is the kitchen. I also threw away a lot of things that I don't need anymore because I do have this problem of hoarding things that I don't need because I feel like I'll need it someday. And this has happened many times. A few months after I clean everything out, a friend would come over and be like, hey, do you have this? And I'd be like, oh wait, yeah, I do. And I try to find it and I don't have it anymore because I remember six months before I cleaned it out. So I hate throwing out things, but I have to do it because it's really holding my house and I don't like it. So yeah, and there are some really special things there too, but you know, you need to let it go of the attachments. So I am throwing out anything that I don't want to take into 2023, baby. So yeah, let's go clean the kitchen. The, clean the kitchen is really messy, by the way. So I just finished cleaning and oh my god, I have not felt this relaxed in months. I feel like I've got my whole life together only because I cleaned the entire apartment. I didn't even have the energy or the time or the focus to film every single thing because I was so focused on cleaning and that's it. You guys, a clean house is literally the most satisfying thing ever. Anyways, now that I'm done cleaning, I feel so relaxed. I am ready for 2023. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Now, the only thing I have to worry about is not getting my apartment dirty soon. So I'm gonna try to keep it clean as much as I can. Anyways, my space is always clean, so... Yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself. I know I was supposed to do this in like one day, but I managed to do it within two days and I'm still, so I'm still proud of myself because I did it. I did not procrastinate. I did not get lazy. I mean, I did get lazy at one point, but then I still did it. So that's the point. 
I convinced my mind, I controlled my mind and told my mind to just do it. So I'm really proud of myself and I feel so relaxed. And a clean environment is super important for my mental health and I think it goes for everyone. Having a clean environment is super, super, super important because if anyone can work in a dirty environment, hats off to you because I could never do that. I cannot relax if my environment is not clean. So anyways, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean my apartment. I don't even know why I made this video, but I know that you guys get motivated when I make videos like this. So I hope this video motivated you. I hope you feel better. And if you're going through some shit, just know life is like that. If you don't fall, you're never gonna rise up. So yeah. Anyways, I hope all of you guys are getting ready for the new year. I hope you made your plans, your goals, your resolutions for the new year. And that's about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye-bye.